This is Magic Shot, and in my honest opinion, it is a shining example of just how well done and hard prize machines of this genre can be made to be. Um, this prize machine is in the same family of machines such as Key Masters and iCubes and so many others out there, and they all play by the you know the same fundamental design. And because they they do that, they also share the same fundamental chink in the armor so to speak they all they all have a way of being able to spot whether or not it is time for the prize to pay out and you can see it and know whether or not it's you as a player that's missing or the machine itself actually interfering and causing you to move and causing you to miss the chance to win the prize um, so just like anything else the most important thing to know is that magic shot is rigged it, it is rigged um, but I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to spot when it is time to you know for the machine to pay out a prize I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to know when it is the machine interfering and not you as a player you know just simply missing by a little um, now magic shot is played just like most other prize machines like this, you have to get the object, which is an S, into the slot. Um, all the prizes will be numbered with numbers or letters, and you'll have a slot on the board which will correspond with the prize. You pick the prize that you want, and you try to get the S into the slot of the prize that you're after. Um, the S will start in the starting point on the left, and you will hold down a button, and the S will move from left to right continuously until you release the button. Now the prize scheme works the same as any other machine like this. The cheapest prizes will be on the bottom, the medium prize stuff in the machine will be on the middle row, and the most expensive prizes in the machine will be on the top row. Um, so what you're seeing here is an attempt at me going after the middle row which is not ready and what I'm showing at this point is examples of me losing on the back end by the, the back of the S clipping the back left side of the, the acrylic outline of the slot. This is me. This is me showing you just how close you can actually get to the winning coordinate before the machine would actually have to step in and interfere and drop you forward. Now the trick to know that the machine is ready relies heavily on you as a player so you have to have faith in yourself you have to to know that you let go exactly when you needed to and that it was the machine that stepped in but what's going to happen is if i was a little bit more forward i would have been in the winning coordinate so the machine would have stepped in and it would have pushed the s forward it, it would happen really fast and just so suddenly that you can't even hardly tell that it, it happened it almost seems like you did it uh, but what happens here, and this will be an example of it, is I let go in the winning spot and I know it, but the machine drives the S forward. But here's what to look for. It will drive the S forward to the same position over and over. It'll never let it get any closer to the center than it is in this moment. So if you consistently get it into the spot that is the winning coordinate, you will be pushed forward. So if you play repeatedly and you're trying to win the same prize, you're going to see this a lot. If you get to where you need to be to win, it will drive it forward. And this is something you really need to remember. If you are consistently seeing the S land when you let go and it closes just like you're seeing now if the tip of that s the s you see hits on the right side and it is the tip of the s is an eighth of an inch or less towards the center of the slot that you're going for then that means it's ready if you are seeing the tip of the s an eighth of an inch or more then it's you like it'll always push the tip of the s to an eighth of an inch or right around an eighth of an inch past where you're going for so if you can't lose by clipping the tip of the S within an eighth of an inch on the right side of the acrylic, then it's a pretty good indicator that the machine's interfering. This was it at full speed just to show you how fast it happens. And I mentioned Keymaster earlier. It's in the same family, but I like it because it, it plays by the same rules. But, man, it is way easier to spot when it's time for the prize to be paid out. So, I mean, it has about a quarter inch area at the top that will allow you to know when it's ready. And what you just saw here, the top of the key was within a quarter of an inch from touching the top of the keyhole. It will not happen like that if the machine has not made enough money. Uh, it wouldn't let me get that close on the bottom without driving me forward. It would do what you're seeing now. If I was that close as you saw in the last clip and that prize wasn't ready, it would have pushed me upward. The prize you're seeing now is not ready, so when I let go, it drove the key on up and made it look like I just missed a little by going a little too, too high. The exact same thing is at play on the magic shot. Now this is an example of what it looks like when the machine is ready. If you notice the tip of the S is much closer to the inside of the slot than an eighth of an inch at this point. So that tells me, you know, I, you know, 
that it was me. I was just a little bit forward, but the machine is letting me get closer, and the machine is ready to pay out this price. So if it wasn't, it would have drove the tip of that S onward just a little bit more. It would have been no less than the eighth of an inch closer to the center of the slot. What you're seeing now tells me that that prize is ready. And after seeing that, I know at this point it's up to me, so I'm going to keep playing because that prize is coming home with me. I have officially seen that the machine has made enough to justify it, and sure enough, this is actually two tries after that clip I filmed. I, it went right in. Uh, once you see that it's up to you it, it's the machine has taken away any and all restrictions on letting you win now you just got to get it in the hole and uh, it, it's not it's not the easiest thing in the world but it can be done at that point so my hope here is just to help people save money because I, I used to do it a lot too like I would see a prize I really really wanted and I would just throw dollar after dollar at it and always lose by just going a little too far I was just a little too high or a little too far forward and uh, it turns out that was just a really clever way of the, the creators of these machines to sort of make sure that they never don't turn a profit you know so they're not going to allow a prize to go out without it having made enough to justify it and uh, in this particular machine four five and six is the bottom row one two and three is the middle row and a and b is the top row so i could have picked between four five and six because the entire bottom row is ready to pay out at this point so when i saw row four clip i could have went on to row six and won the prize if i won that's just the sort of the nature of them but just look at what just happened in that clip that told me that that prize was ready and it told me that hey keep playing um so the gist of it is this is some, this is a trick and tip that i really hope helps you guys out if you have any more questions or are confused by anything i'm talking about i know it's a lot to sort of take in and hard to see until you actually see it in person but if you have any questions or anything like that just let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to address them and help you out if i can i want to help people win uh, but as you see this machine moves fast man i love it i'm impressed by it but um just keep it up and if you ever see what i what i showed you just keep playing and take the prize home with you I, as always thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate it so much these videos have been a really great outlet for me and uh i will see you next time